Hey guys, I was getting quite a few requests asking me where to live in Barcelona. While I didn't live in every neighborhood in, in the city, I have lived in few and today I want to cover four neighborhoods uh, which I would consider if I was moving to Barcelona today. So let's go and see them. <laughs> So we're starting with Gracia, that's where I live right now. There's three reasons why I would say it's a great neighborhood for you. So if you're enjoying coffee shops, small little bars and in general small shops, it's a great place to be. Um, also there is one of the biggest fiestas in Barcelona called Fiesta de Gracia that is happening yearly. It's uh, happening almost for a whole week, so there's plenty of time to enjoy it. Um, it has a lot of plazas as well where you can spend time having a beer or just uh, chilling out with your friends and it's pretty close to the center so you're pretty much in proximity to everything within 30 minutes or so it really depends where you live in Gracia because Gracia is pretty big it used to be a small town before it wasn't always the part of Barcelona. There is some negatives of living here as well. It does get loud, so especially during the season, the streets are quite small. So, uh, for example, whenever it's uh, like someone shouting or a car passing by, you pre pretty much hear everything. Other than that, if you love to live near the beach, it's not really the best place to be. It's close, but it's not really that you would be able to go there every day. Um, I will be covering a couple of the neighborhoods that are closer to the beach, but essentially if you're looking for like beach runs in the morning, that's probably not the place for you. But if you like shopping, um, going to bars, restaurants, coffee shops, etc, that's a really nice place to be. Plus it's not that touristic. <laughs> Literally just 10 minutes walk from here, it's very close. So we are here in the Jample neighborhood and this neighborhood was designed by Ildefon Serda. He was an architect who proposed an extension in the 19th century for Barcelona. At the time Barcelona had an overpopulation problem and with this extension it allowed uh, to extend to nearby towns like Gracia. When, when he was designing this neighborhood he took into account how people live in uh, urban spaces so he accounted for uh, shops nearby, green parts and in general how easy it is for uh, transport to move. So whenever you see these pictures of Barcelona and there is this grid structure to the streets that's basically the reason why it's one of the most expensive neighbor neighborhoods to live in barcelona so um, not everybody can afford it it's uh, very convenient whether you are into going to the mountains or to the beach at the same time it's very close to all the connections whenever you need to go to the airport or any other parts of the city, it's very easy to co commute from here. out for drinks as well there is a street called Enri Granadas which is just the whole street uh, full of bars and restaurants okay so now 
we are going to the third neighborhood and oh boy this one can be controversial So we are here and the third neighborhood is El Clot. The reason why I think it's kind of controversial is because not a lot of people would pick that over some other neighborhoods. But that's the thing, it's not flashy, it's not something uh, that you would have to pay extra. There's not a lot happening in here but it's great to live in. It's pretty quiet and if you are into sports it's very convenient. You have beach nearby, you can literally walk there every day. <coughs> Sorry, we can literally walk there every day if you want to. You have parks, uh, there is quite a few basketball courts nearby. So it's it's great all, all around. Plus, because it's not touristic or there's not too many people coming in here, there are quite a few bars and they are not expensive. So <coughs> in, my, in my vocabulary, that's a big win. All, all around. So, other thing that was a big factor for me is convenience going to work. It's really close to business center to Glorious, and at the same time, if you uh, if you need to go to the airport, you can just pop into L1, <clears throat> and you'll be at the airport in 40 minutes or so. Actually, you need to get R1 or R2. I don't remember right now, but uh, yeah, it's it's very convenient to get to the airport very convenient if you're working in Glorious plus also you have shopping center literally at your doorstep so if you need anything you can just go in five minutes you'll be in a shopping center and you'll be able to get anything you want shops are situated very conveniently nearby there are quite a few uh, big supermarkets if you are cycling there are uh, Bicing stations literally where I lift I had at least three or four nearby so I never had a problem that I have right now in Gracia where I would wake up in the morning try to get bicing and there would be no bicycles in the stations that never was an issue here and in general it's 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 nice I mean it's it's not uh, extraordinary but it's still pretty it's it's chill very chill atmosphere here <laughs> I scratched my lens protector when I was riding and shooting that hyperlapse on my on the bicycle so that kind of sucks the reason why I'm saying that if you are seeing some artifacts in those videos that's the reason why I won't be able to replace them um, so yeah I'm sorry about that right now we'll be heading to Poblano neighborhood and that's the last neighborhood I'll be covering this is kind of similar to Claude. Not too many people go there, uh, even though it's really nice, it's very close to the sea. You can go for a run in the morning, can enjoy uh, the beach, there are plenty of bars, there is Ramles de Poblano, which I absolutely love, that's when, where we will start. Well, it's also very close to Claude and to the business center. A lot of international companies are moving to Barcelona that Poblano neighborhood will become more and more expensive just because of its location. If you actually live in Barcelona and you have your own list of places that you would think that should make this list, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm sure that it's going to be very useful for people who are watching this video. And with that said, let's go to Poblano neighborhood. <music> Thank you. 
So that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. It will help other people find it as well. And if you enjoy Barcelona content, subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more of it. I will also leave uh, my Instagram link just somewhere up here. Uh, follow me there. I'm posting there quite frequently. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.